Derek, I mean, you guys went in knowing that you needed a two-win day, mission accomplished. What was the discussion going into today, and how did you execute that? Yeah, we uh, we knew we have our backs against the wall, and uh, we're going to take it one game at a time. But we know we every game we play, we pretty much have to win, and we came out with a really good game this morning and played another good game, uh, or sorry, this afternoon, and played another good uh, game tonight. So we got the two wins, and... We have one more game tomorrow at 2 o'clock in Saskatchewan and going to come out and play hard and see what happens. It's all we can do. Is there anything different you need to notice than kind of how you've been executing at the start of the week compared to now? No, I mean, like, the game against Horgan, it was, a, it was our first game as a team pretty much with, with Robbie. And, and, I mean, they played well. It's not like we played bad. Tanner made some big shots. Um, and the game against Cooey was, you know, a nail-biter that uh, could have went either way, right? So instead of sitting, you know, maybe... Six and two, or sorry, five and one, or six, whatever. Now we're four and three, and have a one more game that we pretty much have to win and hope for some help. What's been the most difficult thing to kind of shifting the lineup and executing at this level at such a kind of short notice? Yeah, I mean, it's you know we're playing against the best teams in Canada and the world, right? Um, you know, these guys have been practicing for months. Um, you know, we got kind of dealt a short hand. Um, you know, we've been playing with three for you know the last couple months, so. Playing with another guy and Robbie, you know, being a uh, first-time Briar, he's been awesome. But it's it's been tough because we've moved up positions too and something different that we haven't done before. So we're just trying to make the most of it and having some fun and trying to make some shots. Are you enjoying playing third? I don't mind it. Um, it's kind of funny because I said before I started at lead, second, now I'm up to third. I do love second, but, you know, the team needed me to play third, so I rose to the occasion and I'm just going to give it all I got. Must be feeling riding high after that one. I mean, that's a big game to win against a tough opponent at the Briar for you. Yeah, totally. It was a bit of a roller coaster uh, of a game there. Uh, you know, you like to take advantage of steals at two in the first end. We didn't quite do that, but I mean, to bounce back the way we did, that's something we've been doing all week. I'm um, really proud of the guys. Good battle. Um, and we got another big one tomorrow. Do you feel you've got Kevin on an off day? Um, maybe a little bit, sure. Um, I mean, we put a ton of pressure on them as well. So, I mean, that's what you got to do against good teams and good skips, and that's what we did tonight. I feel like a statement win out there now? Yeah, I think so. Um, you know, just to go out there. I mean, it, again, a little sloppy early on. Um, but, you know, after the second end, I mean, we, I, I thought we dominated the, the entire game. Um, you just had a, had a really good handle on the ice and, and put rocks in great spots. Looking at uh, the game tomorrow, <laughs> how big would it be for you guys to finish the round robin unbeaten? Yeah, huge. I mean, you, you you want that buy going into Friday night, right? And uh, as far as I see it, we don't have that locked up yet. So, I mean, we've got another big game in the afternoon. Um, and we can't, uh, can't afford to take any games off. It's got to feel, feel pretty it. good making a shot like that to kind of close things out for the... What does that do for you? Yeah, I mean, I, I struggled a little bit with feel uh, and making, you know, making some shots I should in the first half, but... You know, we still uh, were controlling the game, and had, I had a better back half. But wow, was that ninth end? That was so scary. Like we were almost dead. It was almost five, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, it could have been four or five. Um, oh boy, that was a series of, you know, I don't know how many times we missed going into that corner to freeze. Uh, uh, so yeah, I feel fortunate that um, you know he didn't convert. Four and three would be a lot different than five and two, as it is now. Yeah, we would, uh, you know, we would actually be sitting, needing, uh, you know, some help in the morning. I think when uh, Quebec plays uh, uh, Team Botcher Wildcard One, um, that's not, you know, that's not what you want to be doing, <laughs> watching that. Before we don't play till tomorrow night, so um, so we, we don't really need to uh, scoreboard watch. Uh, you know, maybe things will work out in our favor and we can just win and be in uh, tomorrow night. But, um, you know, we'll have to see. Quebec's a good team, so yeah. they'll, you know, if they play well, that'll be a good game. When you look at this day as a whole, though, you needed to get two wins and you got it done. Yeah. Uh, wasn't, you know, their wins. Uh, you know, we played a lot of good ends, but, you know, we, we, can, we can be better. Um, there's still, you know, you, you saw that ninth end go. You know, and it only takes one end like that in a game to beat you. And so uh, we got to make sure we play, uh, you know, we got to play start to finish, better curling. Um, Sturmay is a great team tomorrow night. So I expect uh, we'll have to be uh, a little bit sharper than we are today, but ha happy we made we made some big shots when we needed to. A okay, couple days delay, but it got to feel pretty good to get that one off. Yeah, listen, you, you come to the Briar, you, you want to fight every game. 
and uh, you don't want that zero at the end of the week. So we felt like we pushed some teams early. We had great games against Gushu and Botcher and made them sweat a little. Uh, but they're great teams. They fight back, and we lost those ones. And then we fell a little flat uh, after those, probably a little wet down because we had really good games, and then we, we struggled. We weren't real sharp our last couple games. Um, and tonight we just said, let's go win one for Brian. So that's what we did. Did that, I mean, like what was working for you maybe from the start of the week that just wasn't quite there maybe compared to now? Or do you, um, you know, we struggled. They, they, you know, they, they touched up the rocks this morning, and, and in practice you didn't see it as much. A uh, little pebble on the ice, and it wasn't going as sharp. And then as the game started to progress, we started, you know, a little soft handle here. Um, and just, you know, we just weren't real good. Um, you know, and we're playing against Mike McEwen and, and all those guys. You, you don't have much margin of error for misses. Um, and we missed. So that's, you know, you're going to lose games. Talk about winning it for Brian, his first career prior. Win. Uh, you have no idea. You have no idea. He, he's, he was smiling as the rock was coming down the ice because I was, like, just going, it looks good. So... Um, yeah, he waited a long time to get here. I've been playing with Brian a lot of years. Um, we had a good tankard, and we finally got him to a briar, and you know, we wanted to make sure we got him a win before we go home, and we're not done yet. We've got another game tomorrow night, so we're going to try and go out and have a little spoiler party in, in Quebec, so we'll see what happens. It's fun, right? You get to play a little more loose at this point. And we do. Kinda... We do, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think we can go back to where we were a few days ago when we were just, you know, there's nothing to lose when you're playing the best teams in the world, so you know, we put a lot of rocks in play and put some pressure on. Um, and then we started hanging on to the steering wheel a little too tight the next couple of games. So uh, a little looser tomorrow, got the win. We're not going home with zero. We're going to try and pick up another one and, you know, finish off the briar. What was it like for your team to get from maybe the start of this season to now? I mean, I know a lot of people are used to seeing Grattan come and, for sure. and wear these colors. So yep. how big was that? Yeah, listen, um, <laughs> Grattan's a great player. He's, he's won a lot. Um, I've been fortunate to get to a few of these myself. Um, we just uh, we didn't have a great season, but we had a lot of stuff going on off the ice, and we, we leveled out. All those kind of situations started to resolve themselves with some illness and some injuries and just some other stuff going on. And when we got into the tankard, uh, we really started playing well. And, uh, you know, we, we had two great games against Grattan um, and knocked them out, and then we won the final, and so it put us here. So we're happy to be here.